Yeah, you can see that um, the visual acuity reduced and that there's a pronounced membrane idiopathic at the superior arcade. So I will perform a 27 gauge um, vitrectomy, lens sparing of course, um, with Alcon Constellation. Here you see the membrane at the superior arcade. And of course the most the biggest risk for this surgery is not to injure the vessels at the superior arcade when removing the membrane. So first standing of the vitreous with um uh membrane dual to be able to induce a PVD which is, which is of course dis difficult in young people and you can see now comes a very interesting anatomical feature uh, that the posterior hyaloid seems to be closed at the optic disc and I cannot induce any PVD at the optic disc <coughs> But, when I come over to the membrane, there's an opening of the posterior hyaloid above the membrane. So the posterior hyaloid is open at the membrane and it is easy to induce a PVD at this area. It is not possible at the optic disc. Now I have the PVD, which is difficult in young people. Yeah, this is an interesting question. Is this a dislocated voice ring? I don't know. <coughs> so you see how the how uh, the PVD is, in, is induced to the periphery, pulling at the retina. I place an oculus contact lens and now I try to dissect the membrane first with an Atkinson cannula, 27 gauge. You see that the membrane is just on top of the big vessels. The Atkinson cannula is a semi-sharp cannula. Now I found a grip to remove. This is a ultra peel forceps from Dork. 27 gauge. It is my favorite forceps for peeling. For membranes and ILM. And now you have to be careful again because we are going over the big vessel. I don't want to injure the big vessel when removing this thick membrane. it is. Nod is removed. The next step is an ILM peeling around the macula. I don't know if this is really necessary but the ILM is already open at the superior arcade. 
So um, I'll just continue to make a peeling around the macula. Just have a, a, another look at the uh, superior arcade. You see that there is no membrane left. This is an inter interesting point for the follow-up, because in the follow-up we will find a surprise. Um, I also examined the periphery, and I found no rupture, which could explain this membrane. So you see, there is no membrane left and we have an idiopathic membrane, um, no suture, no, te no tamponade. Let's come to the follow-up. The visual acuity is 1.0. We have macular edema, which I treat with Nevernac one time daily for three weeks. Now please note at the superior arcade there is a residual membrane. Well, I will observe it, and uh, if it progresses, then I will schedule a second vitrectomy. Thank you very much.